Thanks for coming to our wedding. We are so... Craig! Sorry. Is it time? <laughs> yes! We're getting it's married. It's finally here. Yes! Today! Good. Tell them welcome. We, hi! Thanks for coming. That's my part. I forgot. We're so excited you're here. We really are. We are excited that you're here and it's come up more than once in conversation. People have asked me, Craig, would you even notice if I wasn't there, if I didn't come to your wedding? And the fact is, yes, we would notice. Every single one of you, either directly or indirectly, have played a role in our lives and in shaping us who we are today. So thank you for being here. We appreciate it and we love you. More than anything, though, we are shaped by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Without Him, we would not be here doing what we're doing, getting married on this day, or putting the focus on Him. This is His day. It's not about us getting married. We just happen to be doing it. Today uh, is the Lord's day, and we will... Rejoice and be glad in it. Woo! We are. So uh, <laughs> you can rejoice and celebrate with us as we celebrate the Lord's day. And we want to thank uh, the four next most influential people in our lives, my mom and dad and my soon-to-be mom and dad, Craig's parents. Thank you so much for modeling what a godly marriage looks like. Together, you both have been married. 80 years. 80 years as wow. two couples, which is incredible. And thank you so much for praying for us from before we were even born and for praying for our future husband and wife. And uh, we both feel pretty satisfied in God's answered prayers. So thank you for being that example on that. To kind of lay the foundation for the day, we want to very briefly share a little bit of our story and how God was involved back even before we were born with our parents' prayers and how they prayed us to this point. Um, it was about a year ago, just over a year ago, where uh, I was minding my own business, uh, doing ministry in Long Prairie, and I got a text message on my phone asking me if I would ever consider uh, dating a gal nine years younger than me, um, followed up by a, another text instructing me to go to mollybarnhart.com to be objective and to tell my friend what I thought. And so curiosity got the best of me, and I went to her website, and after spending you know, 20, 25 minutes and seeing all the crazy videos and stories, um, I thought that she was absolutely crazy. And <laughs> with that being said, I couldn't really get her out of my mind. And after that night, I'd never heard of her before, uh, but after that night, her name kept popping up in different circles that I traveled in. And I ended up uh, playing a couple of visits to her coffee shop, Overflow Espresso and Cafe. <laughs> and the second time I did, um, I went to a meeting in the cities uh, with some other youth workers and her name came up again and asking has anyone ever heard of Molly Barnhart before? Have you ever heard her speak? I've heard she's a wonderful speaker. I was feeling really exposed because I just left her coffee shop and at that point my friend Heather spoke up and she says oh I'm gonna be getting together with Molly in a couple of weeks and Heather being a very close friend I said Heather here's the deal I've, I've got this text message I keep hearing her name I didn't mention I just came from her coffee shop, but I kept that part a secret. But I said, Heather, would you do some recon work for me? Uh, give me your opinion and tell me what kind of gal she is. And Heather vowed she would not mention my name, um, and I didn't want her to. I just wanted to know more about uh, Molly Barnhart, and we'll let you take it from there. And so rewind a few months back. About the time he got the text message, I was invited to go out to dinner with Heather Fleece uh, by a health teacher at Eden Prairie. Roxy, who's also our wedding, co wedding coordinator. God's orchestrating this whole thing. I know, how cool. Love it. Anyway, so um, Heather is a national speaker and youth pastor, wonderful role model. I had not met her yet, but Roxy thought we should meet. Heather's a busy woman, so we had to schedule this meeting two months out. And so uh, it was end of March 2008 where I went out to eat with both Roxy and Heather and just felt free to, to share and kind of spill my heart. And I said, I don't know if it's me or God, but I have this ever increasing desire to marry a man who's a speaker and who's in ministry. So we can partner together and maybe do more for God together than separately. And so of course, Heather's bursting, wanting to share because Craig is a speaker and a youth pastor. And by this point in the conversation, Heather admits later that she was starting to like me and thought I'd be a good match for Craig, but she's not allowed to say anything. So instead, Roxy, who had met Craig one time, long, time ago. long, long time ago, when he spoke one time for her health class on abstinence as well, slammed her hands on the table and said, "What about Craig San? Sorry, what about Craig Sanborn?" And uh, then Heather's allowed to share, like as if she never heard about this idea before. And they went on and on about how great of a guy he was, integrity, character, 
that he was really good looking. And yep. and they both yelled at the same time, I think, for the whole restaurant to hear. And he's a virgin! Which I got excited about. And you just shared with six Oh, people. sorry, but it's on our website. GregandMolly.com if you want to see more. Anyway, um, so then Heather said that she'd pass my name on to Craig as if it was the first time he would have heard about me. A couple weeks later, he contacted me. We met in the parking lot of Overflow, how convenient. And things just went awesome from there. God confirmed again and again and again. And a week later, we were praying about the direction of our relationship. Five months later, we were engaged. Um, it's it's been a roller coaster, and things have just fallen into place. But um, the Lord, I, I wish we could share everything with you, which we can't. Um, but hopefully today in our lives will be a testimony just to God's goodness and how he was orchestrating um, bringing us together from day one. And it wasn't us or anything we did. We just trusted and waited and it's been so worth the wait. So thanks for coming and witnessing what God has done. Amen. Goodbye. See you in a minute when I walked out.